Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Plague Inc. Evolved. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. So, um, we have unlocked a new plague, which is a parasite. So, parasitic lifestyle prevents DNA alteration from everyday infection. Okay. Let's see how that plays out. Also, we unlocked the Darwinist uh, gene, which is in here. Increases the chance of a plague mutation. Um, gonna go ahead and insert that because I don't think we have much of a chance of uh, evolving this very much because it's a parasite. Um, also... I guess being a rurophile will be nice if we start out in a rural environment. As always on normal and we're gonna go ahead and call this the um Um, let's call it the fucking <laughs> earworm. <laughs> uh, I don't want to actually have a fucking parasite called ear earworm. That, wow, gross. Um, we're most probably going to have to do this multiple times, so I'm going to come up with something less uh, or more funny, I guess. But <laughs> anyway, um, you're a new parasite, start stuff up. Um, that is rural, that is not very wealthy, and that is hot, so we would be used to hot climates from the start. Which would be nice, and I guess we can start in Africa as per usual. Yep. And then we actually go ahead and pause and have a look at what we do here. Okay, the usual transmission stuff that we know from the uh, early diseases going over freaking birds or. Uh, rodents or insects, so we could essentially be malaria <laughs> um, or via blood, via um, livestock, air, and water. We have the same. Okay, that's nice. And we have the same ability stuff apart from the parasite becomes more. In tune with host, making it less likely to be noticed. That would be really nice to have. That costs me 8 DNA points. I'm gonna get that as the first thing. Parasitic lifestyle prevents the player getting DNA points by infecting people. DNA bubbles are the best way to get points. Oh, so we only get points from DNA bubbles. That's what that was about. Good. But we do get more, get more of those, apparently. Um, I am gonna go ahead and decrease my severity here. That does have a second step. Which would be really nice to have. Let's see. What's with symptoms? As per usual, increase severity, so we don't want that. Uh, transmission via livestock. That does not The transmission does nothing to severity, so that's pretty nice. So, thing, first things first, I want to get the second, the symbiosis, parasite fuses with host DNA, making it less likely to be noticed and more likely to be transmitted. That's the first thing I want. So I need like a few more DNA points. Get more points by dropping DNA and hazard bubbles, yeah. We have no other choice than doing that, because we don't get a lot of DNA from anything else. 
now we're not noticeable. Which means we can go for this next. Nobody's gonna notice us this way. If we're spreading from person to person in West Africa. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just really... Um, I'm just really uh, into just thinking that there's like this uh, humming melody that people are spreading from person to person there and everybody keeps on humming that melody because they can't get it out of their head. <laughs> I find that to be a very nice... Hi, what is with the sudden drop in frame rate? I don't know what that was. <laughs> New robotic juice are banned in 17 countries after UN report highlighted its profoundly disturbing behavior. I still don't know what that does. <laughs> um, in any way, infectivity. Let's see. Um, I guess insect transmission is always nice and water is always nice. Keep giving me bubbles, please. Yep. Earworm has infected hundreds in West Africa, increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease, yeah. Insomnia without... Oh, God. Please tell me that this gives refunds. Thank you. So this is, like, actually the best thing that could happen. Having the actual uh, uh, thing that I used there, the um, Darwinist gene, means we get extra DNA points. Just from mutating stuff that just happens to be there. Uh, I want that. I also want that. Then I want to pause. Everyone has infected thousands and we're gonna increase its infectivity by saying we want to be airborne and we want to go with birds. Right now we are completely unnoticeable so that's fine. We do indeed get a lot more DNA bubbles. Second, yeah, good, Libya. Nice, nice, nice. Infecting more countries. Keep going. Infected more people than TB. Mutated a rash symptom that we can devolve and get back some DNA. I like that. Okay, we might not actually have to do this more than once. <laughs> um, as much as I do want to increase infectivity, I don't think I'm gonna do much more here. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually... What's that? Less likely to be noticed and more likely to be transmitted. Uh, I don't need that yet. I'm gonna go with cold. And I guess hot one. Neat. Nice. However, that worked. Everyone has infected more people than HIV. Uh, beginning to spread around the world, use the world data menu. Yeah, we know, thank you. Dude, nice.
has evolved cyst symptoms that we can easily devolve. Uh, what way come, are we gonna go for this time? Uh, I guess we're gonna go for some sort of brain dead thing. <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna see when we have the points to do that. Also, the infection rate to do that. Oh, hello. Um. That means I want to evolve this. I want to also evolve this. Just because. Just don't miss any bubbles. Last research shows that humid countries are getting significantly wetter due to global warming. Good that I completely did, don't care about uh, that, because I'm neither hydrophile nor a zerophile. Yo, 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 yo! Uh, slow down a notch. Don't want to miss anything. Mutated a coughing symptom. Symptoms, please go away. You know, I think infectivity is fine. And... We don't really need to do this either yet. So I'm just gonna wait till everything is infected. Infected <laughs> more than the common cold. Uh, by the way, cold too. That's the only thing I still need. So Iceland and Greenland actually get infected, please. All those rural regions are infected as fuck. <laughs> Experts have noticed very high levels of bird migration. Thank you. That uh, brings me to the final spread here. Nice. Not a lot of stuff left. There's like... Mutated a coughing syndrome. As symptom, it's not syndrome. That would be weird. <laughs> coughing syndrome. Um, quite honestly, if I look at the map, Caribbean, Central Europe, Poland, Sweden, Finland. You're encased by people who are infected, so I don't think that's gonna last very long. Good, I think that's all. I think everything is actually infected. Um, let's just have a look at the... Yep, every country is infected. Mystery still surrounds the Olympics decision. Rash symptom. Uh, quite honestly, even with that symptom, the severity is literally not there. But I'm still gonna devolve that once and wait for the next one since there's still like countries that don't have an infection rate that's significant. Like all the cooler countries take a little bit longer. Cooler in as in colder, not as in yo man that's cool.
Neat. Russia is overrun. Canada, please. Iceland, Greenland. Finland, Sweden, Norway, please. Spread a bit faster. <laughs> Mutated a rash symptom again. Still don't want that. <sighs> Not until these are dark red. Actually, I want everybody infected before I start killing people. And I have enough DNA to start killing people. Like, immediately. the DNA points. <laughs> 150. You know, I think I have the fucking capability of saying screw it. I want this to work. Yes, I know you need to evolve to kill. I don't care yet. I'm waiting for the 8 million person to get infected. Nausea symptom. Um, I actually would say we're gonna go from cysts this time. So... Or something, I don't know. We're gonna go from whatever the evolves by itself next. Let's go with that. Last healthy person is infected. We're not evolving anything by ourselves. Ah, screw it then. Um... I don't know. Insomnia? Paranoia? Seizures? Insanity? Paralysis? Coma? Total organ failure. Yep. Normal checkup in the doctor in Pakistan found a new disease which has been named earworm. That is apparently it appears to be mostly harmless, but haha, -ha, must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. First death from earworm has been confirmed in the Caribbean. New Guinea becomes the. Oh, yeah. Just try to shut me down. Um, we can completely devolve the transmissions because we don't care about that anymore. We don't need to be infective. All we need to do is kill people. Um, immunosuppression. That's nice. Yeah, try to cure my disease. The statistics show that earworm has killed 75 million people worldwide. Worse than the Black Death. Um, yeah. Worse than the Spanish flu. Germany's gonna break down. And thank you, we're over the threshold. More than smallpox. 
Yeah, we're gonna eradicate people. Don't worry. Um, just because... Do a little bit of a reshuffle and uh, stop their research. <laughs> Also, make their research a little bit slower. Killing people gives a lot of DNA. I just realized. Philippines are in anarchy and... Um, another reshuffle. Yeah, people are not even working anymore, thank you. <laughs> We're done. People are dead. <laughs> Screw it. We're not even doing anything anymore. Twenty-five <clears throat> percent complete, and there's like what, a hundred thousand people still alive? Correct that. Fifty thousand. Thirty. Oh wait, those are millions. Nine million seven six. Scientists have introduced synthetic genes into earworm. The World Health Organization researchers say that that this breakthrough will help cure efforts. Ha ha ha. 3 million to one and a half, one million, five hundred thousand. Everyone has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. And thank you, the last one hundred thousand, fifty thousand. 10,000 few hundred. Thank you. And with that, I'd say that was easy. <laughs> and I'll see you for the next disease next Sunday. Till then, leave the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And till then, my name is WWE Diamond. Bye.